It's the Becky and Boca Show, coming to you live every Thursday night at 6 p.m. from glamorous downtown Boca Raton. Sit back, relax, and let me show you how to indulge yourself Boca style. Becky and Boca show for this week's show. I am outside of Town Center Mall here, right by Neiman Marcus. I'm gonna go into this entrance and we are gonna check out the Gallery Lounge. It's a brand new addition to Town Center Mall. It's open, it's up and running, so come on. I got my mask, I'm gonna put that on when I get in there. Okay, I just entered the mall there by Neiman Marcus and I'm coming in here by Zoomies and then you go around the corner here to the left and that's where you're going to find the Gallery Lounge. Okay, so down there is the west end of the mall and you've got Lens Crafters, Zoomies, the container store and beyond that is the Gallery Lounge. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is the Gallery Lounge behind me and we're going to go in there and we're going to find Sal. I'm with Sal Principe. He is the owner. And uh, you might recognize him. You've had uh, several places. Hello. <laughs> yes. you, you were in Delray for a long time. Yes, I started in Delray with my first gallery. Okay. And um, I had a few warehouses and changed back over a couple of times. Okay. But um, Simon Town Center Mall came to me and asked me what to do with this part of Sears used to be over Sears here. Sears was right here. They put up a big wall and, and uh, closed it off. So you had this whole end to work with. Right. And so and they, this is amazing. Yeah, they asked me what you really can. I thought a bar would be very suiting for people to come and have a drink. Well, they're, some of their the husbands are having a drink and no well, the wives are shopping. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, well, we have a beautiful gallery where we're going to show live artists performing and getting a chance to meet them in person and see what really makes them do their work. And I did attend a little cocktail party here right before this whole COVID-19 yes, thing started. Yes, leap year. And uh, it was very nice. It was fun because you can come in here at night and do little gatherings. Exactly. And and we, we will have it available for an event space. So people can rent it? So people can rent the space out. We could work something out where we could stay open till midnight in the mall and have a, a very large space with the gallery that we can accommodate for any type of event. That is fantastic. And one of the things I'm thinking right off the top of my head is Plenty of parking. Plenty of parking. <laughs> when you have an event, you know you have to get valets That's and right. make sure you can park. So I have 5,000 parking spots. <laughs> okay. All right. Why don't you so show me around? Let's take a walk in. Okay. You could say hello to Dominic and company. Hi. He owns the Prosperity Brewery. It's which... a Prosperity Brewery. Yeah, welcome. Thank so you for stopping by. It's, it's coming it, visit us. Craft beers and wines? Craft beers and wines. Okay. So Fantastic. We, we own Prosperity Brewers which is the brewery itself. Where is that brewery? It's one block north of Spanish River. Okay. It backs up to the Dixie Tracks from the west side. Oh. So we're in a hidden little warehouse building. Okay. And of course we have a wine selection there. And then we bring our beers over here. We offer all of the beers we brew at the brewery, plus a selection of wines and non-alcoholics. Very a nice. Compliment to the gallery. Okay. So we have Sal, his art, the art from some of the other artists that he hosts. And then we have the socialization factor. Very nice. With beer, wine, and non-alcoholics. Okay, thank you. All right, we're going to take a little look in the gallery so now. Sal's going to give us a tour. Ooh. Yeah, so this is the gallery. Right now, I've got involved with representing other artists. So I've been doing this for 35 years, I would say. And... I've made a decision to start to help promote other artists in the galleries. I got involved with doing the business part of things. Usually, typically, artists do not get involved with opening up their own galleries. They work with gallery owners and such. Um, but I wanted a particular 
way to show my work and I felt strongly about it and I just figured I would do it on my own. And throughout the years now, I've developed a lot of uh, contacts, met a lot of great artists. And it, it's very satisfying to help sell another person's work and get involved with them, even up and coming artists. So it's something that I thought I would do when I was in my 90s, but I'm doing it in my <laughs> 60s. But uh, it, it's, it's very enjoyable. And this is the gallery. Very nice. And over here, I'm doing, uh, this is an abstract piece I just finished. Oh, that's pretty. It's sort of reminiscent of a Pollock style, which I love doing. And I, I do a lot of big homes. So this is your own artwork here? Yeah, this okay. is one of my particular pieces. Um, and then as we walk down here, you'll see a bunch of these heart paintings, which I built into a brand. Yes, So the I heart became my brand which turned into my first uh, product was wine. So I have my own wine oh. at all the fresh markets with my hearts on the label. So th uh, then I start. I just started this year getting into butterflies. I so like I that. started doing these beautiful butterflies. Ooh. And then That's I go nice. back to my abstract art. Uh, I love collage. I love mixed media. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have this one beautiful sculpture Oh, of a dragon. And this is a young kid I'm helping a lot. Oh my. He's extremely talented. Wow. And he, he takes simple materials of wire and, and he just makes a figure as if you can, you can see the skin on the actual uh, so that's dragon. that's made out of screen and wire? A screen and wire. Wow. But it's so well balanced that yeah. he's just his anatomy is right on. That's amazing. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that you represent all these. Uh, all right. Then we got here's a Del Rey artist uh, that I represent now. Uh, this is uh, Kelly Ryan. She just had a show in New York. Beautiful pieces mm -hmm. of Frida Kahlo and Marilyn blowing bubbles. I like that. Yeah, really pretty. Wow. And then um, this was a skull piece I did, which was my own version of my skull painting. And that was kind of fun. Um, I like all the colors, nice bright colors. Yeah, I wanted to make it look a little bit more uh, softer, but it's hard to make a skull look really yeah, soft. But you did it. I mean, that <laughs> looks like a friendly, upbeat, colorful, yeah, flowery it's a skull. It's a friendly skull. <laughs> And here's another two small pieces from this other artist. His name is Ashton Turner. Interesting. Wow. It's Rico. Wait, Rico again? Razio. And we have artists come in all the time. Like I have one artist that stopped in Razio. Come on over here, Razio. How are you doing? <laughs> Hi. I wish I could shake your hand, but yeah. I know, I know. So we do the foot tap. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Razio. Okay. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice Local to meet you. And do, you. and do you have some work in here? Yeah, I have his. Uh, oh, this creative. is yours. And we can take a look. He brought a piece okay. in. Well, and I found it to be interesting. Oh. It's called Gianni Versace Heaven. Gianni Versace Heaven? Yeah, it's like this. Oh, wow. Versace Heaven. That's why the colors are white with light blue. Oh, I Pizza like that. Wow, beautiful. Thank you so much. And how do you make that? I mean, is it's, that a, it's, a, it's a little secret sauce that I came up okay. with to make, the, to make it look like the, the background was alive. I like the art to be an experience. So when you walk up past it, it's moving, it's kind of dancing, and you, and you interact with it by moving around it. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. So, so your we'll, stuff is available here? Yeah, well, he's just, we just started meeting today and i wanted to see something done live he just happened to walk in yes and i thought it'd be interesting to catch that yes Beautiful. very nice and then we had some fun characters over here from bonnie perlin she just finished oh. a series of looney tunes <laughs> i like that which are a lot of fun they're all originals wow yeah and the circle on the left is hers too that's polished aluminum with oil ah. and then resin. It's a beautiful piece. Cool.
Yeah, what so is this right here? So this is, uh, this is another artist, artist Aichi. And he's an original graffiti guy from New York who worked with Keith Herron. He, when he was 15 years old, started working on some of his pieces with him. So he knows the entire history of the uh, graffiti world. So he did his graffiti on top of a stormtrooper, which is outrageous. Look at that, and it's got uh, Louis Vuitton eyes. So, exactly. <laughs> so, and he just and got, a hand. right. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, we do very well with him. So yeah. we sell a lot of his work. Okay. And uh, and again, here's an area where I work sometimes live. Oh, I see. Okay. So we I'll just paint right here live mm -hmm. and let people from the gallery, you know, outside, after they have a drink, they come in. They can get to find out what I'm doing each day. Oh, that day. makes it fun. Yeah, it's, it's something to do in the mall that's very different. Right, right. I was surprised when I saw this was even here. The first exactly. time I was here, I was like, well, wow. It's, it's, uh, okay, you, I have you to ask you about uh, the Birkin bag. Oh, the Birkin bag. I did these Birkin bags. I did a series of them. I like them. It's pop art. Right. Uh, that's my version of uh, the bag. Mm-hmm. Uh, what I'm, what's interesting, I've been working on this piece here. It's hard to see it, but if you kind of oh. lean over, I'm doing a rendition of Manhattan. Oh my goodness! The entire city, and when it's, Central Park. Yes, and when it, <laughs> yes, and when it's done, I'm actually going to lacquer it all white. It's going to be pretty piece when it's done. Oh, Just, it's wow. very time-consuming piece. Wow. How do you get everything exact? Yeah, I'm trying to just give it the feel of multiple buildings just right. all stuck in there. Wow. Um, and then this is a heart I've been, I've been working on. I call this Love's Equation. So I like to write little codes and messages within the paintings sometimes. Hmm. You know, and... Uh, so what message is in there? Uh, secret stuff? Yeah, it's about... Look at it. It's about... <laughs> You know, it, it's just all positive types of messages that I intertwine within my brushstrokes. So it's like my own graffiti, so to speak, or my own writings, but I wanted it to look like an equation. So there's sort of a hidden message within it. But if you want it, you have to buy it to find out. <laughs> to the find message. out. Okay. So. So the gallery holds a good amount of people, mm -hmm. and again, we could move all this furniture around to accommodate different events. You could have a fashion show here. It's beautiful for a fashion show all, around, all the way outside. Absolutely. And what I, what's coming, and I hope comes, we're working on trying to actually have behind us a beer garden. <gasps> Wouldn't that with be With nice. all the walls, so all, it, yes, all the walls outside. There? We're looking to actually do like Winwood. We're gonna oh. paint. We're gonna paint all the walls live, and we'll have a beer garden where people can watch it as it's being done. So we definitely would love to have you come back and sure. present that to the Boca because it's gonna be something very different, very interactive, and there's we have a lot of amazing artists that are actually gonna work on the wall. Probably some of the best in the world. That oh, paint graffiti. Wow. Wouldn't so that, that be something? I just got that news. So that is a fantastic yeah, idea. So we if that I all like works, that. we have one big corner of the mall that will be like outdoors. Our own you know, art center. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's so. amazing. And that's uh, that's what this end of the mall needs. Needs yeah. something to to bring people in. Right. I think all the malls now, if you do if we could be the model right. for that. I'm sure other malls would, would do want it. this because they, even the malls being uh, with the times that the way they are, they need interactive businesses. Yes, they because, do. Because they, you know, they we, need a destination for people to come to. Right, and, and again, so shopping. this is creative. Everybody has a form of expression, and it's inspiring. Mm -hmm. The arts are always extremely valuable, regardless. Mm -hmm. I think it's just a natural fit for our society. And I think Simon Town Center Mall has really stepped out of the box with me, which yeah. I was to do this. So yeah. it's a challenge, but I, I enjoy it. That's the bottom I think line. it's fantastic. Thank you. I think it's a very exciting new addition to the mall. 
and uh, just the way you have the setup here it's relaxing it's bright it's yeah. colorful you got the beer and wine out there exactly Very and we play nice. music all the time mm -hmm. so it has a nice feel but you right. know we we can't play the music now yeah we can't do it while we're recording but <laughs> but uh you know uh, we're here every day so i look forward to everybody coming and enjoying so people can just stop in and uh and check it out anytime okay and are you open the regular mall hours well for now they're 11 to 7. okay and then sundays are 12 to 6. Mm -hmm. and Getting back to not, you know, mall hours, I, we'll see what, when that happens. Probably yeah. another two, three months. Yeah, okay. Well, we're, but we're getting closer, huh? Yes. <laughs> but we can have an event and stay open later. Okay. So if we d have an event, stay tuned for all our events. We have an Instagram, which is the Gallery okay. Lounge Boca. Gallery Lounge Boca, okay. And we will post it when we're having an event so everybody can come and enjoy it. Okay, and what is your website? Oh, actually, the, it's new, so we're working on the way. It will be thegalleryloungecom Okay, so right now they can refer to Instagram. Yes, refer okay. to Instagram. Things change all the time in the arts, so we can, we're pretty flexible with that, but so far we have a good plan. Okay, well, I think it's fantastic, and uh, I can't yeah. say pleasure meeting you because I've met you before. I know, of course. So <laughs> I, I've known you for a while, and I would invite anybody to come out here. Mall's open. Uh, I've been doing a lot of shopping for several uh, weeks now. Uh, Put on a mask, social distance, yeah. you'd be fine. And uh, this is at the very west end of the mall, down where Sears used to be, right? Exactly. Okay. And uh, come on down. Check out uh, the Gallery Lounge. Thank you, okay. Becky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now I can take my mask off. That was fun. A visit to Gallery Lounge in Town Center Mall. And I want to show you what he was talking about, putting an area out here that will be like Windward Walls in Miami but it'll be Boca Walls. Then this area back here will be an outdoor beer garden. This is very exciting. I think this is a fantastic idea. I hope it works out. But see, they have this large area here and there will be paintings and graffiti all over the walls. And then you'll enter into the gallery lounge through a doorway here. Won't that be fun? Isn't that exactly what we need at Town Center Mall? So all these walls along here, which will be on the outside of the beer garden, I assume are going to be painted with colorful paintings and graffiti, just like the Windward Walls in Miami, the Boca Walls. Fantastic. Okay, everybody, I want to thank you for joining me on this week's episode of the Becky and Boca Show. I'll see you next week.